Hey everyone. So the weather was about 55 degrees and my daughter wanted to go fishing. So we decided we we're gonna try the little 1.7 inch whip wads out. And I'll be honest with you, I had a lot of doubts in them. I thought, eh, you know, gimmicky, maybe, I don't know. Let's fish it, find out. So here's what ensued. That is a first. It somehow inhaled it through the gill to eat the bait. I'm trying to figure this one out because the hook's not even in him. What the hell? Water in my mouth. <laughs> What'd you get? Bush crappie. On the 1.7 whip wad. Nice job. He's a good size. No, he's not. He's a little guy. Huh? He's a little guy. He's a good size. He's a little guy. All right. Put him back. Peace, lady. You stole Marling's line. Don't sponsor me. So what's that? Number? Number two. <laughs> same thing, same setup. Yep. Uh, look at you go. You're Number on fire. Four, because Number four. the third one fell off the hook. Same setup, same everything. And he's been caught too many times because his mouth is tore up. Aw, oh, poor guy. Still, number four. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. You got a hole in the face. What number, number six? Number six. On that Ronald McDonald color. With a crappy nibble. Right. Be free. Make that seven. Okay, seriously? <sighs> <laughs> it's trying to outfish me, guys. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're not trying. Yeah. I, I have no choice of catching up at this point. Same Ronald. I need to switch to that red and yellow Ronald McDonald color I made. Yeah. All right, number nine. Ten? Yes, that's number ten. Okay. On the exact same bait still. Yep. All right. I had to start catching up to her. There we go. This one, though, I was using. That's number two. That's number three. I was using the 1.7 Grim Swim. I think we've gone with the whip wad against the 1.7 Grim Swim, which is the 1.7 inch prey bait. So this will be interesting to keep going. Sun's starting to get low though. Okay, so I went from the prey bait and copied my daughter. Same thing she's got on. It's that Ronald McDonald color in the whip wad. And I gotta tell you, I might have to start selling these things. All right, playing catch up here. I think this is number six. Five crappie, one largemouth, and Decor is at 10, catching up. Hey, Decor, what number is that for me? I don't know, five. Seven. <laughs> five, my booty hole. That's seven. I'm catching up. If not eight, we'll have to look at the recording. So that was pretty much a three and a half hour period of time. Ended up with 17 fish. And as you probably noticed... Uh, the counting was off because I did not record every single fish, not every video. Um, I didn't even plan on recording today. I just was spending time with my daughter and thought it'd be fun to get some video of her catching some fish with me. And that's what we ended up with. So, yeah, um, one large mouth and 16 crappie in three and a half hours and mostly attributed to this ugly Ronald McDonald color I shoot and use for my... Uh, my tester baits or for my uh, mold reviews ratings and a cheap Walmart head because I didn't have time to make any lead heads before we left but I gotta tell you I was impressed and uh, it was a good time so if you're kicking around the 1.7 whip wad it's not an extremely easy bait to shoot but it was definitely a producer it actually outdid the 1.7 inch prey bait I had that on only caught two fish the whole time with it the rest of the catches were with this. So the one thing I did notice is uh, it has 
more action in the cold water. Cold water, the 1.7, the tail just does not kick unless you're really throwing a motion. But that tail is so thin, I mean, you can actually even see through it. If I could get this to focus. So thin, you can actually see through it. And I think that attributes to why it was working so well in the cold water. This thing would be a nice fishing killer. Anyway, didn't really plan on making this video, but thanks for watching. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm not your dad. I can't tell you what to do.